Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Amber the Happy Homemaker. Today's video, I am doing another farmhouse DIY with you. Um, and I know this one has been done several times, but I thought I would put my own spin on it. And it is the Rustic DIY Farmhouse Ladder. Um, I mentioned a couple videos back, and I've, you've probably seen this wood in a couple of my videos, but I bought a bundle of lath. Um, I think it was like 50 pieces for $14.99 at Menards. I have a ton of this stuff left over and I'm like, I'm gonna do another project with this, so why not put a ladder together? So that is what I'm doing. Um, it, I've mentioned again too that this wood is super thin, so I'm kind of doubling up everything just to give it extra support. So these sections are four feet long and I'm just putting two together um, with the E6000 and the hot glue gun just to give it some double support um, and these will be my sides. So I just got some little clips um, and put those together so it would have some time to bond really well um, and not come apart. And I'm repeating the process for the same or the other side. So I've used this wood um, in several different projects of mine. Um, I can't even tell you how many videos of mine that this wood or this wood has come out in, but it has been several, and I still probably have 20 pieces of it left, if not more. Um, it is just I use it for everything. It's it's just really nice and convenient to have. So I highly recommend if you are a crafter that you go and get yourself a bundle of this slap because there's just endless opportunities and endless things that you can do with it. Okay, so once my sides were dry and bonded, I'm going to put on my steps, if you will. Um, and again, I'm doubling it up just because the wood is so thin. I just didn't want it to snap if um, for whatever reason I was going to use this. And I will show you at the very end here a couple ways that I did incorporate this into my home. So I'm just going to kind of space it out and kind of make it as even as I possibly can. I'm not a perfectionist by any means, so I just wanted to kind of eyeball it. Um, but I do have the measuring um, tape out just so I could get it right on each side um, down. So if that makes any sense, you'll kind of see what I'm doing here. But this is kind of the step that I did. And the same thing goes with this using the E6000 and the hot glue gun to put it on and put it all together. I've also said before, I don't like to give measurements just because my space is not gonna be the same as your space. Um, I can't even tell you <laughs> what the length of, our, of the rungs are. Uh, I just kinda eyeballed it and cut it with a handsaw, and that was just how I got it. It was just what looked right in my specific area. So I'm going to flip this over and do the exact same thing on the other side, just again to give it double support. Uh, this side was much easier because all I had to do was line it up with the board on the bottom rather than pulling out the tape measure and measuring everything again. So as I figured, um, this whole entire project 
So it, the boards, when I equaled everything out, are going to be about 30 cents a piece on that price. So I used hmm, maybe six boards in total. So super inexpensive. And then I already had the paint. I already had the glue on hand. So I would say this whole entire project maybe was $4. <laughs> and that was the most expensive thing was the glue, um, the E6000. That was like brand new, but I had already had it with me as most crafters do. E6000 is kind of in your thing, <laughs> like in your stash. So the following thing that I'm going to be doing is going over it with the Waverly chalk paint, or not Waverly chalk paint, it's the Waverly wax paint and antique. Um, I picked up this technique from um, Kristen Kay, who pours some in a bowl, mixes it with water, and it turns out to be this beautiful stain, and I loved it. I never tried this technique before, but I will be doing it again with many things. It just looks so pretty. It's so rustic and antique looking, so I was highly, highly impressed with this technique. I am using a sponge brush uh, just because with it being so doubled up on both sides, there's a lot of cracks and crevices that I needed to get into and in between boards. This brush just kind of worked best. And again, you will see my dogs pop in and out here. Um, every time I'm on the floor, they got to know what's going on. So, um, and then I'm going to be doing and repeating the process on the other side of the ladder. So this is one way of how I turned um, or had it out and I really, really, really liked this way and then I also just used it as a blanket ladder like most people do. Um, but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure you comment, like, and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!